Hello, welcome to Analysis of Algorithms. We're doing homework for Chapter 9. We're doing problem, Section 9.1, Number 1, Section 9.2, Number 3, Section 9.3, Number 7 and 8. These, the last one is kind of interesting. Okay, let's read one. Okay. Show that the second small, this is Section 9.1, Number 1. So that the second smallest of n elements can be found with an n plus log n minus two comparisons in the worst case. Okay. I did this in class and I don't want to do it again. Basically you do the tournament method. You have a bunch of numbers. So I'm going to just write them x1, x2, x3, till xn. And you do like that and do like that until you come to the best. That gives you the max. I'm sorry, the min, the max, right? Okay. And then how do you find the second max? Well you have to Look at all the things that lost to the max and compare all of those and find the, the maximum of the losers to the winner. Okay, and so we did this in class and I'm not going to do it again. You have to go up the tree and do that. Anyways, in order to find the max, you have to do n operations and then the tree size is log of n. Okay, but it's minus one or minus so, so or maybe it's log n minus one. That's the tree size. Okay, um, because you don't have to try that one, and so you have to try all of the other ones, and so you assume the first one in your tree, or, or the second one in your tree is the minimum, and you search through the rest. So you're going to get n plus log n minus two. Okay, so we did that in class. I don't want to go through that again. Okay, let's do number nine point two, number three. Okay, and I'm just going to do that program, write an iterative version, hold on, number three, write an iterative version of randomized select, I'm just going to do it really quick. So iterative, iterative means not recursive, randomized Select. Okay. Okay. A while. So you're going to give it the array A. Okay. Um, while P is less than R, then Q equals randomized partition of A comma P comma R. Um, k is equal to following mostly the book, the board, the book, minus p plus one. If i equals k, in other words, you're searching for the ith element. Okay, if i is equal to k, that means you got it. Then. is equal to k, return a of q, you got the thing you want, else if i is less than k, then you're going to go this way or that way. So then you do what? Um, r is equal to q minus 1, else, that means r is greater than k, you have p is equal to q, okay, and then i equals i minus k, okay, so we do this over and over and over, finally return a of p, okay, so we took out the recursion, and that's fine. Okay, not not the most intelligent thing. Didn't do all the details, but that's fine. Next, okay, section nine point three. That's where we have this randomized select. We have this great way of doing things, and we're just going to use it twice to apply things. And we're going to apply it to two problems. So let's do it. Okay, let me read to the problem. 
describe an O of n time algorithm that given a set S of n distinct numbers and a positive integer k less than n, determine the k numbers in S that are closest to the median of S. Okay, so let's, let's, let's just imagine this. Imagine you have a bunch of numbers, okay? Now, if you sorted them, okay, so here's original, okay, and here's sorted. Let's just imagine it's sorted. Then, this would be your median. So this would be n over 2 position. That would be your median. Now listen to what they want. Describe an O of n al time algorithm that given a set S, so this is S, a set of n distinct numbers, they're different numbers, a positive integer k, determine the k numbers in S that are closest to the median of S. Okay? Closest to the median of S. Okay, so what you want is k over 2 of these numbers, and k over 2 of these numbers, and all these numbers in here are going to be of distance k. Okay, let's read that again. Um, given a set S of n, a positive number, n, determine the k numbers in S that are closest to the median of S. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. You know, it's nothing new. You just apply this algorithm. So what you do is, you apply the randomized select. So what you do is, you take your original thing, and what we saw was, in linear time, n, you can find the, so step one, use randomized select, to find median. Find the median of the algorithm. Okay. Now, that takes n steps. That's the whole shocking thing of it, is that you would think that it takes a lot longer. You can do n log n to sort it, or, but really we can do it in n times. So that's an amazing thing. Okay, two. Find the distance of each element to the median. Okay? So basically, uh, that's the following. For i equal 1 to n, um, set b of i to equal to a of i. Okay, so... Uh, minus median. Okay, but we want the distance, so we want absolute value of that. That's it. Now, in order to do this, this is a this is a loop of size n, so we do it in. That's it. Finish. Okay, three. Okay, let's read it again. Describe an O of n algorithm that given a set S of n distinct numbers and a positive integer k that determines the k numbers in S that are closest to the median of S. Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to have this B algorithm is going to be a bunch of numbers. And what you want to find is the kth from the top. Use randomize select on B to find the kth from the center or the kth something. So um, again, keep this in mind. If it was in order, this would be the median. This would be the median, and so you want the kth. Okay, or yeah, this would be k over two away from this. So um, this would be the kth of the two from the top, and then you would want the kth of the kth over two from the bottom. Okay, use randomized to find the kth over two from 
bottom and from top. Okay, so you're looking for this guy and this guy. Okay, that's K over 2. Oh, actually, so this would be from the middle or something like that. Okay, and then once you have this, okay, and by the way, this is just using randomized select again, so that's an L N algorithm. And four, go through the algorithm, see if it's more than this element and it's less than this element, you include it. That's it. Go through the element, search through the original element, each one, see if it's more than this, if it's less than this. Okay, that's two if statements, but again, go through the entire element, just do two if statements, see if it belongs here, and you get it. That's it. Okay, so I gave you the idea of how to do it. You have to work out the details. It's not a long program. It's something that can be done. You just have to think about it for a little bit. Okay, great. Number eight. Okay, let me read it. Let x1 through x and y be two arrays. They each have n elements, each containing n numbers already insorted. Array, insorted. Give an O of log of n time algorithm to find the median of all two to the n elements in array x and y. So let me explain to you how to do this. Instead of let me explain to you how to do it, let me do a real live number example, because we like examples first. So this is number eight. You ready? Let's say I have an array here. Three, five, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Okay, and I have another array, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 17, 19. Okay, okay. now these are sorted, and so we're going to look at the middle elements of each one. Okay. So this is the median of this array, we'll call it X. This is the median of this array, we'll call it Y. Very good. Okay. Now. I want the median of both elements. Okay, so let's say I look at x over n over 2. And I look at y over n over 2. So I'm looking at these two elements. Okay, now let's think about what that means. Okay, we're comparing 9 and 11. Now we want that if we bring, if we merge these two together, we want the median of, the median of both of them, uh, the median of the merged ones together. Okay, but how should we do that? Okay, and the idea is as follows. Look at the 9, look at the 11. Now, let's say, as in the case, 9 is less than the 11. Okay? That means these guys, okay, so then the median is going to be either in here or in here. Let me explain to you why. Hold on. The median is going to be either in here or in here. Why? Because 9 is smaller than the 11. That means 9 is smaller than the 11. That means these guys are definitely not in the median. And these guys are, def are too big. They're too large to be in there. So the median is then going to be somewhere in between these two things. Okay, and what we do is we do it recursively. We're then going to look at the 8 and the 15. Okay, and let's see. Let's think about it for a second. Okay, 8 is less than 15. 8 is less than 15. Okay, and so the median is either going to be in here or in here. Okay. okay, great. Now we have two elements, and we want to know the median. Well, it turns out these two elements, you could take the, the minimum of them or the average of them, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to assume, we're going to just take the minimum of them. There's two elements, we take the minimum of them. Okay, but the main point is that you have two arrays, okay, and you look at this one and you look at this one, and either... If this guy is less than this guy, that means these guys are out of it. And if this guy is less than this guy, these guys are out of it. Okay? On the other hand, if 
so you have two arrays, and this guy is less than this guy, that means these are not in it, and these are in it. And so only these guys are in it, and these guys are in it. Okay, let me show you the algorithm, and you'll understand it. You've got to do it with a few cards to make sure you understand it, to make sure it works, but it, it works. Okay, so basically it goes as follows. Given, you want to find the median, you're given two things, x, y, and n, telling it how many elements to do, how many elements are in each one. So, question, if n is equal to 1, okay, so then return, I'm going to write average, average of x1 and y1. Okay, we'll write down the average. In other words, the median could, if there's an odd number, we'll write down the average. Okay, in contrast, if, okay, so this is the breakaway case, this is the base case. If x n over 2, and I'm ignoring floors and ceilings, is less than y n over 2, and what we do is return median, that's the, it's a recursive algorithm, okay, of x of n over 2, ah, shoot, plus 1, till n, the second half of the x's, and then y of 1 till n over 2, okay, and how many elements are in each one of these parts of the array? There's n over 2 of them, okay, else return median x, okay, we're going to do the first part of x, okay, and the second part we know is not in there, so it's from 1 till n over 2, again we're ignoring floors and ceilings, comma y from n over 2 plus 1, so this is the first part of x and the second part of y. So this is also n over two elements. Okay, that's it. That's it. So let's just go through it again. If x, if the median of x is smaller than the median of y, then forget the first part of x because those guys are definitely going to be smaller. It's just like looking at, we did this in class. We have the medians and we find the m of m, I called it in class, m of m, okay? And we know for a fact that these guys are definitely less than, less than m of m. And we know these guys are definitely more than m of m, okay? And the question is only what about these guys and what about these guys? Fine. We're doing the same trick here. Because the, because the media, this is the median of this, because he's less than this, that means these guys are definitely not in the median, okay? And this is x, this is y, and these guys are definitely not in the medians because they're too big, okay? So we only have to look in here and here to find them. That's what we do here, but you have to worry about the other case too. Okay, it's the same idea that we have here. These are definitely more than median of median. Okay, that's it. Okay, have a good day.